Well, here we are a week closer to Worlds. Uh, I think we're 14 weeks out now. This week seemed to fly by. Um, I'm not really sure why, just life. Um, all of a sudden we're at the end of the week and it's time to do another video. So I had equipment on for all three lifts this week. Uh, my first day back in full gear squats since uh, February, since I competed at nationals. The suit is pretty tight. Like I said last week, my body weight's a little bit higher than it should be, so suit is tighter than it should be. Uh, but all in all, things moved pretty well and I was happy with how I was able to keep my positioning despite that. Um, and despite not being in the suit for whatever that would be, 16 weeks or somewhere in there. Um, all of my squats in the gear were high, uh, but the heaviest I worked up to is 220. Typically in the past it's taken me to, to around 230 to be able to get to depth. So I know it will come with time um, and a little bit more weight. Um, I had my shirt on twice this week. One day was to uh, some wraps. I touched to a four wrap and the other day was pin presses uh, in the shirt. The pin presses were different. I wasn't sure how I felt about them going in. Um, Blaine had told me the purpose of them was to really work on the pressing part and not concern myself so much with the touch even though the touch is super critical in equipped lifting, um, but just to work on the press. So I was happy with how those felt. Um, I did 185 for some fours. So moving some decent weight there, obviously not touching the chest. So it changes things. It's obviously less stressful um, because you don't have to touch. You know that the blocks are there. Um, but yeah, happy with how that went. My deadlift equipped stuff this week was a little bit more frustrating. Um, I'm trying to work on positioning, trying to get it a little bit better, and it didn't feel like it was coming. Um, I'm just trying to get my hips a little bit lower before I start pulling and my knees out more. Um, yeah, and it was a frustrating day. I didn't feel like I was accomplishing much, um, but still I know it's only my second time in the suit and I have a lot of time until uh, Worlds, so it'll take time. <laughs> Would you stop? <laughs> Ryan's in the background taking pictures loudly with his phone right now. Um, but yeah, that day I wasn't super thrilled with how Deadless went, but all things considered, sort of looking back on it now, I'm okay with it. I know I have lots more time. Uh, this week I'm going to stitch pick some of the tightening that I've done to my straps, the most recent layer of tightening. Um, I'll stitch pick that out this weekend and have it a little bit looser for my my session in this uh, suit this coming week so hopefully that just lets me gives me a little bit more flexibility and room to not have to fight the gear to get into the right position beyond that uh body weight is starting to drop which is a good thing um it's not maybe dropping as fast as i'd like it to but i know i have lots of time and sort of i started this process early enough that I don't anticipate it being a concern. I'm into the 76s now, so that's trending in the right direction. Uh, timing my food this week. So this is my first full week uh, working with Kristen and following her macros specifically and more so the timing around my training. Um, I haven't specifically noticed any difference with my training and how I'm feeling, doing like most of my carbs surrounding it, pre, intra, and post. Um, but training's been going well, so I'll take it for what it is. Um, I've eaten some Sour Patch Kids or Sour Patch Watermelon uh, intra workout a couple of days, which is always fun because I like candy. Um, but yeah, my nutrition's going well. The hardest part about it is just thinking about, okay, when I am going to be training and what carbs I need to be eating around that and what I can eat at my meals outside of that time. I'm not training today, it's my off day, so I still have to hit my macros, but I'm not so concerned about uh, timing per se, so I feel like it's more of a free day to, I'll still eat well, but I'm not as concerned with, okay, when am I putting this into my body? Um, but I'm looking forward to seeing, giving it probably six or eight weeks and seeing sort of where I'm at, how, what I'm noticing the difference, if I'm noticing any differences from it. So this week we had a question from Mayhar um, asking, what's the toughest training cycle you've ever done? 
either due to injury, meet ex expectations, training demands, life demands, etc. Uh, thinking about this makes me think of a lot of different training cycles, each one sort of fitting into their own category. Physically, and this is all from memory, so I'm probably missing stuff. Um, sometimes when I've been competing for 15 years, um, I need to actually physically look back through things to be like, oh yeah, I forgot about that. Um, but physically the most demanding training cycle would probably be leading up to World Games 2017, last year's World Games. That was 2017. Um, part of it I think was, it was my first training cycle working with Blaine. So just getting used to the super high frequency of being in gear, um, higher volume, pushing my accessory work harder than I had been previously. Um, so I think that was probably the one that I think right now would be the most physically demanding. Uh, mentally demanding, sort of, there's lots of different categories. Based on meet expectations, the most stressed I was going into a meet was probably before Junior Worlds in 2011. Um, it was my last year as a junior and we were also hosting the meet here in Moostra. Uh, I hadn't won Junior Worlds and obviously that was the goal. Uh, so going in, I was definitely a little stressed about that. I was putting a lot of pressure on myself. I felt like my community and my team were putting a lot of pressure on me because it was my last opportunity to uh, win Junior Worlds and then being at home just sort of that extra little bit of pressure. Uh, it worked out in the end though. I ended up going 84 plus for that meet. Um, the Nationals in March, April-ish, whenever it was, I had competed as a 72 or I just made, just missed making weight as a 72. I don't remember which now, but I was close to 72. Um, then came the summer and I found myself like above 80 kilos and this was probably like two months out. So, and it was probably higher than 80, probably like 82 to 84. Um, I was nominated at 72. So I was gonna have to go either 84 or 84 plus. Um, looking at the nominations, we thought that it would be a better situation, sort of I would have a better chance going 84 plus. Uh, so that's what we did. We changed me from 72 from in preliminary nominations to 84 plus on final nominations. And yeah, I ended up winning. So it all worked out in the end. Um, but that was definitely the most stressed I had been going in and it was close. Um, it came down to, I made my last attempt and then uh, the girl I was competing against for gold tried to pull for the win and missed it around her knees. So it was definitely stressful training cycle and then also being involved in the organizing committee of that. Um, probably not the best case scenario to be in. Uh, the other one mentally that comes to mind would be 2007 junior or yeah junior worlds it was my first year as a junior in 2007 um 2006 i won sub junior worlds in september i was in a car accident in november where i broke my femur and three ribs um so sort of 2006 going into 2007 was definitely some rebuilding time healing time just from that trauma um going into 2007 worlds we decided that i would go and compete and just sort of do where do what I could do basically um, but I don't think mentally I had dealt with the accident enough so I wasn't super prepared for sort of the letdown of not performing um, as I thought I was capable of the year before having one of my better meets at that time um, and winning sub junior worlds to uh, not having my best meet there and not sort of being prepared to deal with that um, so that's probably the worst like meat experience that I can think of. Um, yeah, that's all I can think of. Thanks Mayhara for the question. If you have any questions that you'd like us to address in this series, be sure to comment below or shoot us an email. Also like this video and subscribe to us here on YouTube and see you next week.